We are looking for the most talented Muslim kid in the world. We have had the opportunity to meet Muslim kids from Cincinnati, Dallas, Toronto, Vancouver. One of the things we know is that y'all are talented. So recently, we had the chance of visiting San Francisco. We organized a little talent show, and today we're going to be reacting to those submissions. As Muslims, our goal isn't to be good. Our goal isn't to be decent. Our goal is to be excellent, to become the best version of ourselves. And so we thought to ourselves, let's put on this talent show and see what we find. And I'll tell you, blown away. We are gonna take a look at all of them and then we're gonna be picking the top 10 in order. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And then the winner and champion, number one, or as some like to say, numero uno. Some do like to say that. All right, let's go. I'm going to recite Surah Al Fajr. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa al Fajr, wa layanin ash, wa shafi, wa al wat, wa al layli idayas. So, Musa, seven. Seven, yeah. Great tajweed. So, look, I think uh, Surah Al Fajr is appropriate for a seven year old. I'm giving him five points. One, two, three, four. I gave him five points, too. Okay. I remember a walk every day. I sacrificed myself for a lot in any way. After every prayer, I'm ready to say, my beauty that shines my day. I raise my hands to ask Allah for mercy and to protect me from all harm's way. I love reading the Quran because it helps me in any way. I love Allah. I know you will be there for me every single day. My talent is this art with which I did a braiding technique with yarn and then I just hot glued it on. Have you been doing this for a long time? No. I just started it like two days ago. So I, I thought Hannah's was actually pretty good. Um, Hannah is nine years old. There was a canvas mm -hmm. and then there was a yarn on top of it. So when you have that 3D kind of a, a, a visual, it pops. So even though she's been doing that for two days, you can tell that she clearly has experience braiding. My name is Hannah. And my talent today will be gymnastics. Okay. Alam taro kay sa salo rabu kabios habil feel. Alam ang kulad para kalinsa. Asa ihim illa mu minu bihad al hadithi asa fa malik yom al din iya kana abudu wa iya kana stain. إحدنا الصراط المستقيم وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث صدق الله العلي العظيم. And what is your talent today? Um, dancing. Dude, without any tune, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. She just jammed out. Dude, that was awesome. Nice. Oh no. Wow. <laughs> so she did martial arts. Is it martial arts? Because then she did her. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do poetry. The last of all the prophets and messengers, he had the best of character and manners. Mentioned in the Quran as a person to the world, just as pure as his soul, his teeth shine like pearls. A guide when I am in the darkness, the will, inshallah, be with me in my ultimate happiness. I think the delivery was weak. Um, it was like he was reading it, right? So, and, and I'm just going to be honest because he's 12 and I know that he's probably capable of doing more. Yeah. Memorizing it would have gone a long way. It's unfortunate because that one could have very easily been one of the more one of the talented top ten. ones. And I'm going to do magic tricks with newer kids. Can you pick, please pick nine books from my bag? Okay. Any books you want. I'm not going to be watching. Out of those nine books, choose one and show it to the to the camera and put it. Now can I have the, all the things? Okay, which column is your book in? Column one, two, or three? Two. 
Okay. Which row is your book in? Row two. Okay, these are all the books. Maybe another. Was this your book? Yes. We don't have points for product placement. <laughs> I think we should have points for product placement. He didn't prepare by wearing the Boy Scouts uniform, but somehow like that just added a little a twinge of value. <laughs> I made this video game where uh, you have to go to different uh, levels and battle robots. Yeah, and what is the game called? Uh, Elimination Two. Controls for. Keyboard right here, and for the gamepad, there's PS4, and you have to go different levels, different fonts. Oh, this one here. The street is good. Then, what do you see That is excellent, right? I don't know many adults who've created their own video games. A video game, as far as excellence by age, preparation, delivery, uniqueness, like that's that's very high. I gave him a nine. I give him a nine as well. So right now, Abdurrahman is is the leader. Is the leader. All right, Miriam. So what's your talent? Mm, writing and calligraphy. So this is this is an example of what I believe is excellent by age. For a six-year-old to do this is, I would say. Excellence. That's Ihsan. I really appreciate that a lot. I gave her eight points. I gave her, I gave her seven points. I made three fiction books where um, a kid and his friend, which is a Muslim, he, his friend almost fell, so he touched the tree, so he didn't fall, but when he touched the tree, he became the tree. So it was like kind of weird, his hands were just like that. We have an author in the making. You know, I'll be honest, my daughter knows that song too. And yeah. when she was a girl, instead of saying Dul Qaeda, she would say Dul Qacha and Dul Hijja. <laughs> but mashallah, Sophia did a really beautiful job. Is that all done? All right, here we go. Big reveal. Here's Chris Nazard, everybody. Uh, to do that in front of such a big group is is challenging. She did all of that in two minutes, which is not a lot of time with a bunch of eyeballs looking at you. I would say that for a young girl to do that, as far as I'm concerned, is quite excellent. When I was seven years old, my mom had gifted me a Simba toy. I had seen it on the bed, and I said, wah, 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 wah. and when I came back home, it was gone. I searched everywhere for it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And that's when I realized my brother probably had stolen it. I went to find out, and it was right. It was there in my brother's hands. I went to my mom and complained. My mom was like, oh, I gave it to him. I got it back and <laughs> I played with it and it was broken. I found out what had happened. He had broken it apart and he had tried to put it back, but it was not working. My Simba toy would give a roar and when I pushed a button, but now it wasn't working. All it was was some mechanical failure. And I went to my, I went to my brother, why did you do this? And he's like, oh, I just wanted to find out. I went to my mom and she said, I gotta pause for a moment. This story has the potential to be excellent 
based off of how it ends. Mm. If he's able to stick a landing here, right, and make this a memorable story that teaches a lesson, um, he's going to get a lot of points. But we'll see how it ends. That toy, that was actually not for you. It was to give to other people. And I sat there thinking, why was it not for me? And that's when I learned an important lesson, that when you always give back, you always get it back. Mashallah. So I think there were three talents in one here. Not only was he storytelling, not only was he doing improv, but he was also doing an impersonation. Mm, mm, impersonation. Uh huh. Three talents in one. Three in one. I didn't think about it that way. This um, uh, drawing, I did uh, more kids. Uh, the coloring was very good. She stayed within the lines, which I still have trouble with to this day. One of the most difficult things about artwork, specifically with our characters, are the eyes. The eyes are what give the characters all the personality and she hit the eyes perfectly. I am 10 years old and I live in San Francisco, California. I specialize in making bead art. Wajiha, actually, your amazing artwork we have sitting in our office right here. Thank you for that. Wow. Uh, we should have been keeping track of the cutest, but they're probably up there. Yeah. Uh, our talent is going to be a skit. Ooh, a pool! I'm going to jump inside it. Can I join? Um, no. Um, the next day, I'm going to jump in the pool. Can I join too? Yes, you may, because you are my friend. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry that last time I didn't let you in the pool. Okay, it's okay. Now let's run, um, so jump in, and play. Oh, let's make a sea castle. Yeah, I don't need it. i got a big voice. Thank you. All right. Oh, look, I found a VFF flag. Let's play on our castle. Sure. Thank you. How many points you give him? I give him eight points. I give him seven points. Yeah, that was very well rehearsed. I mean, the thing is, right, they're, they're relatively young. Mm -hmm. And to do a skit in front of that many people, it, like, is not easy. No, it's not easy. And they brought their stuffies. Mm -hmm. They had their props. I'm actually pretty impressed. It was a nice twist on storytelling. It was a nice twist on storytelling skit. We should do more skits, matter of fact. We should. Um, why was the teddy bear uh, full and not even the What? <laughs> no, it was stuck. Oh, stop! You got another? What do you call a snail and a porcupine? A slow poke shared it like the slow poke joke I think is hilarious yeah is that a talent I'm not sure well it's unique it is because no one else did it yeah and she was prepared with those jokes and she was prepared with she didn't read jokes. them and she was pretty confident when she did yes so for all those reasons I think she did a pretty good job yeah, I gave her a seven you gave her a seven yeah okay and my talent is in I know the country by its shape. That is the middle East. Sri Lanka. Finland. Ukraine. Namibia. 
Wow, so Dude, he was that able to... was awesome. So tell me about it, Hassan. What did you like about it? Have you ever met anybody who knows that's not from Sri Lanka who knows what the country Sri Lanka looks like? Uh, no. It's yeah. I I, don't. I mean, I, I'll be honest. I didn't know what Sri Lanka looked like. That's what I'm saying. Clearly, something he studied because that doesn't happen without excess study. So I, I I would agree with you. I think that it did demonstrate excellence. It did ac demonstrate preparation. They had the thing. Um, I think that his delivery was was okay. Yes. But in terms of uniqueness, it was off the charts. I gave him a eight. Well, I gave him a ten. Are you serious? Yeah. I give him an eight, so that means he gets a nine. Yeah. So that means he's tied with Abdurrahman for yes. top. Yes. Yes. So we have two tops. Yes. So we actually don't have a number one. Let's just let's just say who we have. So number ten, we have Hana, who did the braiding art. Ninth place is Zayn, who did the storytelling. So I have um, uh, Husna, who created art. Fatima and Amala, who did the um, uh, magic trick, okay? Then also, uh, we have Mariam, who did calligraphy. That's number six. Uh, Aisha, who did the poem, who you didn't give a lot of points to, but I, I believe that she actually did write that poem herself. And then we have four which is Mariam and, and her ha friend. Hannah. And Hannah who did the skit. The skit. Then we have um, Karima who did the drawing of the North Kids characters. Okay. Okay, then we have number two and number one. It's a tie right now between Abdurrahman who created the video game and then the geography boy. Okay. Let's do rock, paper, scissors to see who wins. Right. You gave 10 to the geography boy. I'm gonna pick the geography I gave 10 to Abdurrahman yeah. because I think that Programming something is more, all right? Yeah. So this is this is what it all comes down to. Abdurrahman, Bismillah rahman rahim for those who like geography. Mm, geography, okay. I'm, I'm, all right. I'm it's rooting rock, for you. rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Best, it's always best out of three. Okay, best out of three, unless I win on the first one. All right, let's go. All right. Okay, wait, hold on. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got him! Wait, hold on. Hold on now. Hold on. Okay, now. fine. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh no. One to one, baby. Okay, okay, okay. One okay, to okay, one. Okay, ready? All right, hold on, let me prepare for this. Okay, okay, ready? Let's go. Let's All right. go. All right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh man. Abdurrahman, let's go! SubhanAllah, I was so impressed by seeing all of the excellent work that so many of you have done. Bay Area, you made us proud. Inshallah, we'll be bringing this to the world. If you're interested, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment below, join the Muslim Treehouse, and until next time, we will see you later. Assalamu alaikum, everyone.